hello students so this is my next video for of course you know that for the law of reflection what we are dealing earlier and for the part first law that is called ferment principle we will discuss the ferment principle on the basis of that we will prove the law of reflection the french scientist the french mathematician actually that is called pare de fermi stated that the path taken by the ray between two points is a path that can be transfers in least time one should it should be very clear to you that it is the principle of least time not the least path have a look on that <coughs> suppose light is coming from a particular point towards a plane mirror from the plane mirror it can be reflected this is your initial point a this is your final point b there are so many paths light always try to follow that path during reflection that takes least time to travel have a look at this movie this is your incident light this is very clear this is called your incidence angle this is called your reflection angle and the light get reflected from this surface suppose if we take this distance as suppose b if we take this distance as suppose b suppose the length of the mirror is a between the point a and b and light strikes a certain surface suppose at a distance x so what the distance left over is a minus x it is very clear from the mathematics that if this is incidence angle you can make this angle as also incidence if this is angle of reflection you can make this angle as angle of reflection also light is covering a distance from a to b to b let us find out the time taken by the light during this path if this path is from a to b to b so what the path is path is from a to b and then from b to b during reflection as the medium doesn't change let us calculate the time taken by the light to travel from the point a to the point b if we calculate the time time is what it is the distance covered by light during incidence that is ab divided by velocity of light and da that is also called velocity of light why are we not changing the velocity of light because as we stated earlier during reflection velocity of light speed of light doesn't change because medium doesn't change if you look at the mathematics if we take this length this is for b this is for x what we call it is called b square x square the limit if you look at this distance e minus x and d so what is this distance for this for b square plus e minus x whole square under the root so let's find out the time if we can put it the word ad so what the distance ad is this is called 1 by c of b square plus x square under the root plus 1 by c of d square plus d minus x whole square under the root fermat stated that light only transfers to that path that path takes least time least time if you want to calculate 
the condition for least time, least time to travel between A and B, let us calculate the time to travel. If you want to take T, I have this other word. Let us calculate dt and dx. For the condition of minimum, if it is dt by dx, for calculating the minimum time, dt by dx has to be put at 0 as you know it from your mathematical basics. Now, let us calculate the differentiation. So, I am differentiating this particular time. Look at the board, 1 by c. Look at the differentiation. You know that what I am doing, this is half, this is called b square plus x to the power minus 1 by 2 and of course called 2x plus. Have a look on the differentiation of this, 1 by c is common. This is half, this is called b square plus a minus x whole square power minus 1 by 2 twice of a minus x and minus x. If you know the differentiation, it is very clear to you that what rule I am using. Half get cancelled out, half get cancelled out. Have you know that this is called 1 by z is x divided by b square x square and the root minus this is a minus I'm getting it from here this is called a minus x upon b square plus a minus x whole square under the root for making the time as the least time this differentiation has to be put as equal to zero as you go back means x upon b square plus x square on the root minus a minus x upon b square plus a minus x square on the root has to be put equal to 0. Are you getting what this is? Let us find out. This is x. This is called b square x square on the root. This is called a minus x and b square plus a minus x square. This is called x upon this one. Look at this triangle. If you are looking at this triangle, this is x that is acting as perpendicular. b square plus x square under the root is acting as hypotenuse. Can you tell me what this is? This is nothing but from the first triangle. This is called something new. And are you getting what you are getting from the second triangle? You know that this is the story that will give you. Minimum time to transverse. 